Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. And we're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about the fact that people of a certain generation, Chelsea's, refuse to watch black and white movies. Now, by doing this, they're missing some of the greatest movies ever made with some of the most legendary stars that ever appeared in a Hollywood movie. Yeah, it's true. And I just want to interject here and say that I love black and white movies. I really do. But I think the reason why a lot of people in my age group won't want to watch a black and white movie is because they feel that they can't relate to the stories that the black and white movies tell, which is completely absurd. But I think they feel that way because the black and white movies were created in an era that's completely separate from the one that they're living in now. And I think another reason why people won't want to watch a black and white movie is because a lot of times, you know, if you look at the movies that do really well, they're the movies that have tons of special effects and lots of explosions. And I think that people feel that black and white movies don't really offer that same sort of spectacle. Do you know what I mean? I do, but ironically, even silent movies such as Thief of Baghdad and Metropolis offered state-of-the-art special effects at oh, the time. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, if they're not going to watch a black and white sound movie, good luck with the silent movies. <laughs> well, that's true. Let's just get them to watch a black and white sound movie. Sounds like a plan. Of which there are so many great movies and so many great genres, like film noir, the art deco musicals of the 1930s. Yeah, and I mean, look at some of the really famous classics, like Citizen Kane, Casablanca, and I mean, you can even look at the great directors, like Billy Wilder. Billy Wilder made Double Indemnity, Some Like It Hot, Sunset yeah, Boulevard, so all in black movies. and white. And and other directors like Otto Preminger, Alfred Hitchcock. I mean, these are three of my all-time favorite directors. And, I mean, if you look at Alfred Hitchcock alone, all of his pre-1948 movies were black and white. And even some of the post-1948 movies like Psycho, that's black and white. Well, Psycho is the exception to the rule, though. People seem to want to watch Psycho. It plays like a modern movie. Demographics have shown that when viewers see a black and white image on a television screen, they'll race for the remote to get rid of it. They do not want to watch anything in black and white. So naturally, programmers only want to program stuff in color. Yeah. And other than Turner Classic Movies, which shows lots of black and white, there are no other stations to watch black and white. And so no one's going to be able to see black and white, and it's really the death knell for black and white. That's ridiculous. Save black and white movies. By all means, we have to save black and white. They're really good. It's a great art form. <laughs> well, anyway, this is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you with the movies. A black and white movie. Bye.